Hey everybody, my name is Karthik Subramaniam. I'm a real estate entrepreneur here in Southern California. I'm the founder of a very large real estate education company. Absolutely love what I do. I have a passion for the business. I'm happy to have found it. Follow my journey here on YouTube. Hey everybody, Karthik Subramaniam over at Avi Schools. Wanted to share with you a new study from LendingTree that said of all mortgage loan applicants, one in 10 get denied for a mortgage loan. So about 10% of borrowers that are applying for home loans ultimately get denied for a home loan. Now, of the 10% that get denied, 26% get denied for their home loan either based on uh, low credit or too high of a debt to income ratio. So it's important to understand what the debt to income ratio is to make sure that for your borrowers and your buyers, you're counseling them properly. Now, there's two types of debt to income ratios. One is the front end debt to income ratio. One is the back end debt to income ratio. Now the front end debt to income ratio is a ratio of the borrower's housing expense to the borrower's gross income. That's the front end. So let's say your lender has a maximum 31% on the front. That means if your borrower makes 10,000 bucks a month, their house payment cannot exceed 3,100. The back end debt to income ratio is where a lot of people get in trouble. The back end debt to rate income ratio is a ratio of the borrower's housing plus all other long term debt to the borrower's gross income. Now, what you'll find a lot of the time is that a borrower will be in escrow and the borrower will, let's say, go out and lease a brand new Mercedes or go buy a brand new BMW before the escrow closes and that messes up the back end debt to income ratio. So you want to tell your buyers while they're in escrow buying a home, don't apply for that credit card. Don't supersize that Happy Meal. Don't make any major purchase until we close this escrow. Make sure your borrowers are well aware of the difference between, again, the front end and the back end. The back end debt to income ratio will include all the borrower's debt. So as housing starts to get increasingly unaffordable for most people, we wanna make sure that we're counseling our borrowers and buyers properly. Because a lot of the time, what we find is that buyers today are stretching every last penny they can scrounge together to qualify for that loan, applying for a credit card, which might lower their credit score a little bit, or taking on additional debt, like a car payment, could ultimately mess up your real estate deal. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram. I'd love to connect with you on and offline. And remember, tell your borrower and your buyers, don't do anything financial until you talk to me or talk to the loan officer, right? We wanna make sure that we don't rock the boat too much before we close this deal. Catch you guys on the next video.